And hope makes not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Amen. For when we were yet without Christ in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Yep. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet preadventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yep. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. That's right. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. That's right. For until the law, sin was in the world, but sin was not imputed. When there was no law, nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, Amen. which is by one man, Jesus Christ, Amen. hath abound unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so was the gift, for judgment was by one condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace. And the gift of yes. righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Right. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall, be, uh, shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, whew, it would take a long time to do this chapter justice. Mm. So we come to the teacher tonight to yes. ask you to little in our minds, our hearts, that you might teach us yes. at least the highlights of this passage, that it not just be information in our brain, mm. but soak down into our souls and yes. make a difference for what you intended it to do, and not return boy to yourself. So, Lord, we ask for that kind of help. We pray that you manifest yourself among us. And certainly for someone lost, we pray they get saved. God, give us an understanding tonight that will make an impact in our life for eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you. May be seated. Now, is it possible if uh, Brother Richard, if you don't mind, could you give me a bottle of water? Already my mouth is dry. I, I, I got it. You got it? You got it. That is the other thing. Amen. All right, well, if you're taking notes, well, if you're not, either way, it's the same title. Same message. Amen. Amen. More grace to stand. More grace to stand. God help us tonight. We're not going to look at what accesses this grace, but how this grace enables us to stand. Yes. So here we are tonight at Victorious Life <coughs> Baptist Church and having an access to what we're calling more grace is the key to living this victorious life. Thank right. You, I appreciate that. That's right. So I have to ask the question on the on front of this, in what areas of your life do you need more grace? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. Come on. So join me as we jump into this this evening and uh, take a look at what Brother Paul had to say there to the Church of Rome. Of course, we realize the Holy Ghost is the author. Right. 
So as we get started out, it's real easy when you have number one, it's like you must be saved, no doubt. Here we are in chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith. Yep. Chapters 1 through 4 uh, prove we're lost. <laughs> the Holy Spirit did that on purpose. We talked about chapter 1 just a moment ago then, where they did glorify God as God and they were really thankful and, and the whole human race is selfish like that. And, and then they're a self-righteous Jew and they didn't make it. And then the world, they didn't make it. And, and anyway, we get to chapter 5 and then therefore the conclusion of the matter is we are all found guilty that all the man stops. No one stands just before God. That's right. We're all sinners. Amen. Yeah, so we really, therefore, to be justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Right. We ought to have peace with God, folks. But in our lost condition, when we were lost, there's no peace there whatsoever. No, right. Peace is part of the fruit of the Spirit. So it's not just to the saved, but to the saved, we're filled with the Spirit. Right. Uh, I mean, because you can be saved and not have peace. Uh, That's right. uh, it's not a good thing, but it's possible. Sure. So when one is justified, he's justified by faith. And, and he spends a, an enormous amount of time dealing with this. And obviously in his infinite wisdom, he chose to do so because he knew that man would think somehow we could work our way to heaven and somehow keep the law is good. We pastor just talked about the law. It's neat to see how all the tidbits lining up to this message, how the Lord just kind of confirmed the direction. And the law is good and righteous and holy. And right. I mean, use it lawful. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the law. Absolutely. In fact, it's perfect. Amen. Yeah. Uh, but, but there's a purpose behind it. And that's to show you and I we're lost as a schoolmaster. Yes, and bring sir. us to the master teacher to show us that we have a need. Amen. Yes, Yes. So this justification by faith is done by trusting Christ in the work that he has done yep. on the cross. Yep. So folks, let me explain something, and I know you know this, and so this isn't new information, uh, and you've been under good preaching, you have a good pastor, so, so I know you know this, but I like how Brother Peter said it in his epistle. It's like, I want to stir up your minds by way of remembrance, yes. okay? Yes. Right. So let's bring these truths back to our mind because from these truths we're headed somewhere here in a little while that should make an impact in our life and day to day life. So to start off with, God is holy. That's yes. right, brother. That's he right. absolutely is. Amen. That also makes him righteous because he's holy. That's right. right. See, God is always right. <laughs> There's none more right than he. Yep. He is righteous. He is also just because he is righteous and he's holy. Correct. Him being just, then that demands justice. Otherwise, he wouldn't be just. If he wasn't just, he couldn't be God. True. So this justice then demands righteous judgment. Right. Everybody with me? Yes, sir. Okay. So righteous judgment, according to the scriptures, actually phrased this way, the wrath of God. Right. The wrath of God is righteous judgment on mankind's sin. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Come on, come on, so now, uh, if we stop there, we're in trouble. Absolutely. Uh, God is not only holy, righteous, just, as we declared, but he's also the creator. Yeah. All that there is, he created. Yes, sir. He created you and I. Amen. As the creator, that gives him some innate rights. That gives him the right to uh, write the rules. Amen. It's his creation. Amen. You ever create something? Write your own rules. He, he created us. He wrote the rules. Yeah. Is that right? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and because he is just, then he has to, by his own character, hold us, his creation, accountable for breaking his rules. Correct. Because we are rule breakers. Come on. We're a law breakers. The Bible calls it transgression. Transgression of the law is sin. Right. Okay? Yes, sir. If we stop, like I mentioned, we're in trouble. 
He's holy. We're not. Right. He's just. And he will. He must. He's going to. But he has. He's judged our sin. But hallelujah. Uh, Adam didn't catch him by surprise when he messed up. Right. He knew he was going to do that. Sure. So God, in his infinite wisdom and knowledge, and out of his heart of love, sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who left the glories of heaven, manifest himself in the flesh, in the virgin's womb named Mary, uh, was born in a little town called Bethlehem. Come on, we're going to celebrate this here soon. Okay? Yes, sir. And, and, and in all places, a, a stinking feeding trough. Come on, yeah. stay on. Then he lived an absolute perfect, sinless, holy life. And when he died on the cross, he shed literally his blood that was pure and holy and sinless. Mm -hmm. And according to what the Hebrews has been referenced, we'll probably reference it again before we get done tonight. Come on. Uh, he, he literally took that blood and he ascended back into heaven, into the tabernacle not made with hands. And there he became our propitiation, yea, our mercy seat. And presented his literal blood yes. as a satisfactory, just payment yes. for our sin before God Almighty, who is holy and righteous and just, and demanded that justice because his creation has broken his rules. Yeah. And there's a payment, there's a penalty due for the wages of sin is death. And without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. So here it is, his own son shed his absolutely perfect blood and took our place. He paid our price. He paid a sin penalty and he did right. not owe. That's Hallelujah. Right. No wonder he's called our mercy seat. Amen. And then that paid that just payment for, his, for our sin with his own blood. Right. So now God can. Doesn't that sound funny? So now God can. Yeah. Did you realize he qualified his actions by his own character? Right. Yeah. I see that. So now he can offer you mercy. That's right. That's right, right brother. Come on. He doesn't just offer you mercy because he's merciful. Right. That wouldn't be just. Right. So he wasn't just winking at everybody. Come on. Oh, they're just sinners. They can't help it. Right. I'll just show them mercy. No. No? It goes against his nature. That's right. That's right, brother. Come on. So now God can offer you mercy. Amen. Yeah. And now God can offer you grace. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So this stuff going around today really has to be irritated. I call it soft grace preaching. Come on. All right. They have cheapened grace today. Come on. Folks, it costs God absolutely everything. It is by no means cheap, nor Amen. should you and I cheapen it by making it so easily to, to acquire it when it costs God such a great deal. That's right. We ought to at least be thankful. Amen. 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 Excuse me, at least. I didn't mean to knock that over. <laughs> so, Ephesians 2 8, we know. For by grace are you saved through faith, faith and that not of yourselves. Right. It is the gift of God. That's right. right. It's pretty arrogant of man to think that he can earn or merit somehow no, this no. grace. You talk about cheapening. Yeah. Right. So if you're not saved tonight, you need to repent of that sin oh. and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and thank God for His saving grace. Yeah. Amen. 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 So we need to define uh, justify. Come on. According to Thayer's definition in his dictionary, it says to render righteous or such as he ought to be. Yeah. Well, I'm not always what I ought to be. Come on. But if I'm justified, then I'm declaring that. Yeah. Yep. Fact 
the next one is to declare, pronounce, one to be just, yeah. righteous, or such as he ought to be. Mm -hmm. So we can say that justification means to be declared righteous. Right. So it doesn't mean we were righteous. No. In fact, we're not righteous. Right. Right. And the one doing the declaration is the only one who has the authority, and that be God the judge. Come on, come on. He declares us righteous <laughs> because his son's righteousness has been imputed into us Amen. by faith Amen. when we are saved. That's right. As we're going to heaven, we have to be as righteous as Jesus Christ. That's None right. of us are. Come on. But if you're justified, then God declared you righteous because of his son. Right. So Jesus in his grace does the same. And Jesus in his grace does the enabling us to stand. Right. Now brother, I've been saved for 43 years. When I was saved back in uh, 1980, I heard a lot of preaching on do's and don'ts. And I'm for preaching do's and don'ts. Amen. I'm for standards. Amen. But if they preach this, I missed it. And it took me years to begin to figure this out. In fact, right now, I'm just beginning now where I feel like I'm at least in kindergarten now. Yeah. It took me forever, like 40 years, to get out of preschool. Okay? Oh, so you know what I'm saying, Brother Paul? I haven't arrived. Gotcha. Amen. But this do's and don'ts became such a thing that I grew up hearing and saying phrases like this. Do better. Try harder. Yeah. Be a better Christian. Everybody hear me? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's like what I've named, I probably got it from somebody, but what I named bootstrap Christianity. That's right. Where I'm trying to pull myself up by my bootstraps. That might be a pretty cool illusion, but it don't happen in real life. No, you're right. Okay? So, then being saved, and he mentioned that that grace causes a desire for you to want to live right. That's he right. correct. Right. Because before I got this grace, I didn't give a rip. Man. I'm just in this life for me. Yeah. Come on. The sad part is my flesh still is. Amen. Somebody forgot to explain that to me back then, too. That, I, I've had some troubles with that along the way. You think, man, am I even saved? Well, no, that's just the flesh I'm fighting. Come on, brother. In fact, I have a desire to go this way. Exactly. That's the evidence of the Spirit. You okay? Exactly. So we're trying to make this as practical as possible for all of us here. Yes, sir. So that we can learn how to stand. Yeah. But you're not.